I don't know about you all, but uh, we got a little bit of M&M's peanut butter share size. I don't know that I'm going to be sharing these. A little bit of coffee caramel. It's uh, been a pretty good year, but uh, I have a little bit of treat from time to time and nothing better than a little toy hunt video to treat yourself. Let's go. What is going on? It's your guy Kent Pool Collects. We're at Super Target, North Lake area, Charlotte, North Carolina. Woo! And I've uh, been seeing some Marvel Legends on sale on discount, so I thought we'd get in and check it out today. And M&Ms and coffee, uh, definitely getting the hunt started here at our North Lake location. If you're having trouble finding stuff in your area, go check out Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description. If you haven't already, jump into Camp Pool Collects. Let's get the hunt going. North Lake Target and tis the season for Tiger Force and Python Patrol. Look at all of the Outback and our bats that we have in stock today. Quite a bit. Got like six, eight bats. Got six of the Tiger Force. All kinds of Imperial officers. Six, uh, almost a dozen Imperial officers. Got some Kenobi exclusives. Shore Troopers, I bet the rest are on the pegs. A little Kenobi there, a little Potter, and a little Minecraft. Definitely uh, check out those Target stores. Got wrestling, got uh, Farouk, Bradshaw, Rey Mysterio. Also got some Gonzalez going on there. John Cena, you can't see him. Randy Orton, there's another. Randy Orton. Still got some Reigns, some Jeff Hardy going on there. As the rest of our Shore Troopers target areas have definitely been stocked with those figures. Dark Troopers as well. AEW, not much going on there. It's like an older wave. Maybe they found a box of. Got our Mandalorian. Still got our archive figures on solo there. There's our Leia in disguise. Little Mando. More of the dark troopers. So yeah, a lot of those archive figures. There's our Ahsoka on card. Been seeing quite a few of those at Target as well. Trying not to screw up the card. Mission fleets. A little retro going on there. Quite a bit. Mission Fleet in stock. Big Mando there. Millennium Falcon. Got some Slave Ones. Banshees. We are starting to load up on the Banshees. There's like five, five Banshees there. That is pretty wild. Masters of the Universe. Crab Suits. App Suit. There's some smaller Banshees, He-Man, Squadrons kind of sliding over, invading <laughs> the area. Horak, looks like a little bit of sail there. Horak, King Grayskull, a little light year going on. We got uh, nothing new. Up there, dinosaurs, vehicles, uh, little Mario level there, little Halo, a little bit of Fortnite. I'm pretty sure she is newer. I think we've seen her before. Might have even been at this store. It's a little uh, gore and everything. That's pretty cool. 
I've uh, been seeing these on clearance discount at different stores. Uh, let's go around this way. More dinos. I think these are some of the newer dinosaurs. Got a little bit of sale on our McFarlane figures, $14.99. Uh, that rock, we're using that head sculpt and crown. That green lantern is uh, pretty cool for 14 bucks. A little death stroke there as well. Black Panther. Got a little bit of Transformers. All right, y'all tell me. I don't know that I remember Knockout. Is that a newer or older Transformer there? Dinobot. Got our yellow ranger, red ranger, ninjas. Couple power rangers going on. Iron Heart. I imagine a lot of Marvel Legends on sale this week. There's our Superman, Joker, and Batman. Check this out. So we were looking all over the place for this uh, Batman. And I wonder if he's uh, just been hanging out in the back or somebody found him. I doubt it's a restock because they don't have Robin. But I'm sure he was just uh, hanging out somewhere. So that's cool to see after we built the horse. Older G.I. Joe. Got our Super 7 cards there. She-Hulk. Thor. A little bit of sale there on Marvel Legends. So, looks like Mbaku's on sale. They got a couple of him. Got our Speedball. More She-Hulk US Agent. There's our Green Lantern. Hanging out with the uh, Marvel Legends. Kate Bishop there. Still got our Spider-Man. Well, Peter Parker and Ned. Let me see. So it looks like Spider-Man Spin Umbrella. So that two pack is 42. Um, I don't know what that one is. Bodacious Bagman for 18. So, uh, definitely some deals, I imagine, as Black Panther, so I'll have to Shuri, Jet, all kinds of good stuff. So we'll see, it looks like Ironheart is down to 22. Uh, they got Loki. So yeah, a lot of different things there on the cards. But uh, Disney Plus wave, quite a few Marvel Legends. Uh, let's go back around and we'll see if there's any video game stuff. Started with uh, Halo and Fortnite. Let's see what we got for Mario Bros. Little Minecraft. And we got quite a few little Mario characters. Somebody just powered up. I think I just one upped. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's uh, that's fun. Sonic. Some different video game levels. Five Nights at Freddy's. Little piggy going on. Not much for the old Pokemon. Um, let's go over, check out the Hot Wheels. A little bit of tech deck. Got some of our different areas. Fast and the Furious going on there. NASCAR. Plenty of uh, Transformers and Micro Machines. Supercross. Matchbox. That's kind of cool. Uh, 
Monster Jams, Monster Trucks. Got uh, the little bank roller there. Minecraft, Mario Kart. Get this pretty good uh, Hot Wheels singles. I got quite a few. That's a cool car. Nice truck. So, yeah. Hot Wheels not looking bad. Let's go check out the collector spot. Collector spot got uh, little predators. I think these are like restock. That's pretty cool looking. Got uh, the werewolf there as well. Check out this ultimate predator hunter. Uh, the colors and everything are just pretty cool on that. If you're into the predators, we got a mummy. Uh, was that Michelangelo back there? There's the other American werewolf thing. Frankenstein. Got a few Funko Pops. There's some of those Justice League. Legacy. Got some House of Dragons. South Park for you. Let's see. Still got the Bat Cycle. Kong. Check this out. First time seeing at uh, Target. There's our Robocop. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Quite the quite the set. We uh, we saw it at the mall, but that's the first time seeing it at Target. We got uh, Michelangelo there, Gundam. Still got some of those Spawn two packs. Got a uh, little golden alien. Godzilla, Raphael, I believe. Yeah, that's a one in four. Cool to see. A little Raphael for you. There's our little comic book, NECA as well. We got Leonardo, let's see, the blue is a one in four. That's cool. Donatello, that looks like a regular jacket to me. Yep, so normal. Uh, another Raphael, so this is, uh, I'll see, like the normal red jacket for him is a one in four so that's cool uh, let's see donatello that looks like the same one we just looked at and then leonardo he's got uh like a black jacket which that looks like the normal one for him so yeah those turtles are fun to see some uh, different variants of the turtles, right? Ooh, look at that little mobile suit. Joker, Alfred, Omega Spawn, Manja Spawn, a couple more Godzilla and Kong figures. Got that playset, Creeper. So I just got uh, all the figures just kind of laid out. There's our dragons. More of the two packs. Wow. Uh, let's see. Ron in there. Little Dragon Ball models. Turtle pack. Uh, Captain Marvel. We got a Tom Brady. Interesting. Oh, Harry Potter. My hero. Very cool. Got a bunch of these uh, little Dragon Ball. There's a Demon Slayer statue. So they just kind of got everything just laid out for uh, for us to look for and to find. Pokemon set there. There's some more turtles. Some Kenobi. All right, what turtles do we have here? Leonardo Blue Jacket. That's a one in four. Raphael, ah, uh, that's a cool, like the varsity jacket, one and four. 
Uh, all the Donatellos seem to have been normal. And what's this Michelangelo? He is the normal. Okay. So, I don't know how the case is. I guess they just kind of like pack them random, but that's quite a few turtles. If you are scooping those up. And we got anything else. Let's see if they cleaned up this area. I got a couple of gremlins there, King Kong, aliens, so still quite a bit of uh, NECA. All finished up. <clears throat> All finished up on peanut M&Ms. <laughs> Target run was uh, not bad. Definitely some Marvel Legends. The uh, newest wave, Disney Plus, was normal price, but everything else marked down quite a bit. Well, I mean, pretty good markdowns. 17 bucks, not bad for most of those Marvel Legends. I didn't scoop up anything today. I'd say probably the thing I'm still looking for is that Mojo. Maybe, maybe if I see Mojo on the discount this week with that sale going on, maybe I'll scoop him up. But I can't think of anything else that I really have to have. Eventually, I'll finish up that Disney Plus, but I just see so many of them at the Target stores. Plus, they haven't even hit Walmart yet. And uh, same thing with that Black Panther wave. It's like so many of the figures between the different stores around the area even at 17 i'm like eh, i'll probably get it cheaper so we'll see we'll see if the long game plays out again it's nothing no fear of missing out the uh spider-man i keep saying spider-man the peter parker and Ned two pack 42, so that gets it closer to like $20 a figure. I think I'm still gonna wait on that box. I feel like there's still quite a few of those boxes in the area, so we'll keep uh, keep playing the long game on some of those Marvel Legend figures. Let me know if you're picking up any Marvel Legend figures while they are on sale. And I think we'll head back to the toy garage and see what Marvel Legends I did get in. Uh, not necessarily a fear of missing out, but uh, definitely figures I wanted to add to my collection. So uh, let's go check them out. Welcome back. We're hanging out in the garage. I got out our old uh, X-Men diorama piece. Uh, kind of the danger room kind of changing up to a street scene so awesome awesome diorama and uh, for starters like I said just playing with some different Marvel Legends we got our Kang the Conqueror uh, this is a Transformers like little diorama base piece uh, the idea is you use wires and they like counterbalance to make the platform kind of appear like it's floating in place. But uh, instead of the wires, my, uh, my dad was able to put some of the just clear plastic uh, that we use for the flight stands and uh pretty steady similar design just uh obviously the plastic being a lot thicker than the wired pieces but i still like it uh definitely feel like it fits well with kang i think the base was like maybe ten dollars fourteen dollars on hasbro pulse and you know, I just feel like it's very Kang 
Uh, I could definitely play around with uh, trying to hide the plastic and, uh, you know, play around with some angles and stuff, but not bad for what I kind of put into it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, yeah, just the instructions being in Japanese and... I tried watching videos and stuff, but it just, it was not for me. <laughs> so I'm happy with how this turned out, and I think it'll be a fine display for the Conqueror. In a previous hunt video, we found uh, the old Spider-Man. Is he gonna, there we go. Got a little bit of a bend there with our Walmart uh, shipper. We got a Hasbro Pulse delivery. Or maybe it was Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, I think this was Amazon. Let me... I didn't know it was going to come in this little Hasbro box. But you can see we got the little... Hasbro box here, and as we give this box a little pull, there is our Gore, the uh, comic edition of Gore, which I am definitely excited to see this guy out of the box, and finally, as if we don't have enough Marvel Legends fun. Sorry, Kang. But another um, Hasbro Pulse delivery. We got the Fallen One and Terex. Uh, Terex is real interesting because I swear I got all the figures for building him from the old Build-A-Figure, but for some reason, I uh, never built him. I think I might have uh, sold the Build-A-Figure parts, even though, like I said, I got all the figures, so I either bought the Wave loose without the Build-A-Figure parts, or I must have uh, sold the pieces, because, uh, you know, eBay, people, they pay uh, decent for those Build-A-Figure parts especially if you sell them in a big old lot so i think we're going to clear out kang we'll open up these boxes because i gotta let y'all see what's in the box make sure they didn't like send us you know fake stuff inside like there's not gonna be a brick inside of the box so i know how much y'all love these new boxes so we'll open them up but let me clear away a little space and uh, reset welcome back i think we got some space we can operate now uh like i said don't want to hurt kang or spider-man so we uh cleared them out of the area so now we can maximum space for these boxes Org. I'm excited for this one. I think, uh, you know, Thor, Love and Thunder was what it was. But this is the God Butcher from the comics. And definitely excited for the look. Yeah, look at that crazy head sculpt. How cool is that? Check out those eyes. I have to see how big this head is. This might be a nice look for Mythic Legions. But yeah, that's cool so far. Definitely came out of there easy enough. Yeah, I was interested about this. Is this gonna be gotten the necro blade before okay so this one is kind of 
attached to the hands so you connect it and it's like part of him instead of being the physical sword. That's interesting. That was our little baggies. And what are we going to get out of the package? All right. Well, the first thing I am happy with, because we saw that sometimes these legs get a little funky in the package, but our legs look decent enough. Nothing looks warped. So that is good. Yeah, first impression, pretty happy with uh, the look here. Got uh, the cool robes, kinda symbiote-like, kinda like our Venom. So the robes, pretty cool. Head sculpt, looks pretty cool. Not a ton to the figure. But, uh, cape being plastic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like him. Uh, like I said, they, uh, tried their best with the old movie. But that is, uh, definitely one that I am excited to pose and uh he kind of fits in well with uh the fallen and terrax there some of our uh galactic threats galactic universe characters so maybe i'll get him and thor kind of battling these two We'll obviously uh, go with our big old Galactus, good old Haslab, right? So the Fallen, I imagine this Fallen is going to be similar to our Silver Surfer. Uh, both of these heralds of Galactus, so, whoops, and they just took out, uh, God Butcher, that's, uh, that's why we had to make space, because who knew what was gonna happen with these figures, who knew, uh, there's one, uh-oh, there's two, let me see if I can, I'll reposition him there. Got some cardboard going on. So accessories. We got nice little axe there. Fun piece. This was also part of the build a figure that was released. Looks like we got some hands for the fallen so you got a little bit of an open and then a closed fist we got our energy effects we've seen these plenty of times in the past nice little blue which i imagine will look pretty good with our fallen of the package yeah the energy effect should look really good with uh like the hair we got going on here the uh body is interesting not uh not much to it kind of just a plain like you got the cool little hair effect and color there but <laughs> there is there is not much else to this figure the head sculpt's kind of cool i like uh 
kind of him yelling, screaming, powered up. We'll have to play around, take a look. I imagine uh, flight being like an ability for him. So maybe I'll find a flight stand and uh, kind of his powers using uh, the arms. And here it is. Terex. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I think I've had most of these pieces but he is a uh, pretty good size. I don't know. I don't imagine that would be different than the Build-A-Figure. But maybe they made him a little bigger. You'll have to let me know in the comments if, uh, if you have this guy in your collection. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I am uh, definitely happy Laterex, uh he, he definitely has that Build-A-Figure look to him. You only get the hand sculpts that are on him, plus the axe. So I guess that's not awful. But he has uh, some pretty good size to him. I like uh, the plastic. You can see I got a little bit of like a crack going on there. It's like a little bit of an indent to uh, to the armor, but we'll just call it battle damage. The guys out in uh, the galaxy flying around, fighting who knows what, just about anything. Scrolls or whoever is inhabiting the planet that uh, the heralds are about to go to. I imagine they uh, definitely updated his uh, articulation. And you got just a little bit of the showing, you know, not a total pinless, but uh, the majority of him pretty pinless. Even the Fallen, you got a few pins there. I know uh, when it comes to figures, you know, they kind of decide what they have as far as uh, pins and pinless and what kind of works for the character. But give me one second, I'm going to play around with these three and uh, we'll see if we can put something together. What do we have here? Uh, has Spider-Man got himself into some major trouble? Or is this just a danger room simulation? Uh, you'll have to like read the comics or watch the episode to find out, right? <laughs> so yeah, enjoying this. Uh, our Spider-Man got his animated little uh, shell paint on him so definitely some cool colors uh fit in with a lot of those retro animated figures uh the cell uh shaping for venom and some of the other characters in the line so now you got a spider-man to match that got uh, the fallen kind of in the air with some cosmic powers charging up terrex uh found one of our like tsunami nation figure arts kind of piece he uh manipulates like rock and earth and stuff so i thought that'd be fun to kind of throw that in there we got the webbings from spider-man and then uh the necro sword kind of coming out of gore like i said is uh spider-man in danger is he going to get out of there he's uh maybe he needs some cosmic powers of himself to uh call upon 
to save the day. But I think this is a fun little picture, a little shot here with our different figures. Spider-Man comes with the webbings that you see. You get three sets of hands, which I think should be almost standard for Spider-Man. So we got the open hand. He's got an open hand on him right now. You got two of your web shooting, flipping hands. And then when Spider-Man needs to get down to business, you got some fisticuffs here, little closed hands. So let me know in the comments, a lot of fun with Marvel Legends in this video. Let me know if you have scooped up this two-pack, if you've scooped up gore, if you have found Spider-Man. Spider-Man, a little crazy <laughs> with being a Walmart exclusive. What's new there, right? Uh, I guess the shipper cases are only getting two per case. So hopefully you were lucky enough to pre-order him with Walmart. I'm sure there'll be restocks eventually, but... Yeah, good luck finding the Spider-Man. He uh, definitely is a great looking Spider-Man with the paint decal and everything. Uh, will go great with that Venom if, uh, if you scooped up that Venom and more of the animated series. Our uh, two-pack, pretty cool. They will definitely be joining our HasLab Galactus. I'm sure that's what a lot of people are doing with these Heralds. It uh, makes a lot of sense to kind of beef up that display and I'll be doing the same. Uh, Gore, I imagine I gotta just find the perfect Thor or Thors to kind of have him uh, battling out with. In the comics, it was kind of like a young Thor, a Thor, and then an old Thor battling him. So I'll have to see what I can do based on the images from the comics and what Marvel Legends we have. But uh, he will also not be far from Galactus because I have my different Thors and Asgard galactic, you know, figures around that display. So all of these will be going to a similar spot in the display. Spider-Man, uh, like I said, I'm thinking, see if I can kind of pair him up with uh, Venom and maybe go for some kind of animated series look with uh, both of the figures. That could be a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, comment, and share. If you haven't already, jump into Kent Pool Collects. We're having a lot of fun here on YouTube. Also over on Instagram, Kent Pool Collects. Definitely check it out. Uh, hopefully some more images on instagram and uh always sharing some fun stuff so definitely check that out if you are looking for marvel legends check out big bad toy store link in the description uh big bad they uh they will surprise you with uh some exclusives so you never know this spider-man might <laughs> show up there eventually uh, I'm always surprised at uh, some of the exclusives that they get down the road. So definitely check out Big Bad Toy Store, Marvel Legends. I like uh, picking up my Mythic Legions from Big Bad Toy Store and they got all kinds of stuff. So check out the link in the description if you want to help out the channel. Just go hit the link and uh, you don't even have to buy anything. Just uh, take a look and that helps out the channel. Thank you to our subscribers. Always enjoy reading the comments. Thank you for the likes. And our channel members, y'all are awesome. Thank you for supporting the channel. Until next time, always be hunting, have fun collecting.